This is uh, Rishi Sunak, our Chancellor. How very exciting for us to have him here with us today. Team St Paul's, how are you guys doing? Everyone good? Get a wave, everyone? Oh, good. Lots of thumbs up, double thumbs up. Fantastic. Daisy, I believe you've oh. got the first question that you'd like to ask our Chancellor this morning. Over to you, Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Um, have you taken up anything new in lockdown? Oh, my gosh. Right. Well, I have two girls who uh, are a little bit younger than you. They're year five and year three. So like you, I'm, we're all stuck at home. So we are doing a lot more Uno and Dobble. So do you guys have Dobble? Are you into Dobble or not? You grow a bit. We do a new family walk every single Sunday for two hours. And then have you guys been doing any Joe Wicks? Have you been doing a bit of Joe Wicks? Yeah, so we do a family exercise session at the weekends now with the, the screen and the exercise class and we're all doing it together. So those are our new lockdown things that we're, we're doing. So have you, have you been doing anything new, Daisy? What have you been up to? So uh, as well, like you said, I've been doing Joe Wicks and um, going on different walks. Uh, Riley, over to you. Hi, Riley. Hi, you're a Southampton fan. What did you make of the nine lose to Manchester United? Oh, oh, Riley, that is harsh. That is harsh. Are you a United fan? No. No, good. Right. Gosh, I can't believe that. I'm just still recovering from that. It only happened two nights ago. Uh, so, what I'll tell you, here's what I made of it, right? I can't believe I'm saying it. The last time we lost 9 0, which, which happened just over a year ago, to Leicester, uh, which is where my mum's from. So, all my mum's family really uh, took the mick a lot. Anyway, so after a year after the last time we lost 9 0, we were top of the league. So, what I'm hoping is that about years from now, Southampton will be top of the league again for a day. So, that's what I'm hoping will happen. But yeah, it's not, it's not been a very good couple of days. But thank you for bringing it up. Very, very kind of you. R Riley, who do you support? Millwall. Millwall? Okay, fine. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Uh, good. Good? Okay, fine. Right, well, at least you're not losing 9-0, so that's, that's good. Thanks, Riley, for that. Over to you, Mia. Mia, your question. I liked your furlough scheme. Um, where did you get the idea from? Um, yeah, that's a really good question. I'm trying to think if there, there wasn't really one uh, light bulb moment, I don't think. But I have a huge team of people who help me do my job. And they work at a building called the Treasury. And that's the part of government where I, all the people who help me make all the decisions about the economy and how we raise money and how we spend money on your behalf. Um, and there's about a thousand of them. And they're absolutely fantastic. And hopefully, when some of you grow up, you can come and work at the Treasury because it's full of really smart people like all of you who are very good at all their maths, um, like you are, Mia. And, and they help me come up with these ideas and design them. So it's a big team effort. And there's actually lots of photos. So there's a photo of us, the key team, being very stressed uh, the day that we announced a furlough scheme because we were putting it together. We'd never done anything like that before in this country. And we were put, putting it together, putting the finishing touches to it. And then I had to go upstairs with the prime minister and, and do a press conference and talk to the country about what we were going to do. And there's a great picture of the team all huddling around my office table trying to get the details right. Um, so, yeah, but I'm really lucky. I've got this fantastic team of people who help me. And hopefully you guys can come and work there. That'd be great. Rajiv, over to you next. What values have you taken from Hinduism? Ah, right. Good question. Right. So you guys would have studied this uh, in, at school. So th there are a few different things about Hinduism. I'm a Hindu. Um, Rajiv, are you a Hindu? Is that yes. why you're asking? Right. There we go. So, right, so there's, a, there's a, a couple of different things that are important in Hinduism. One is uh, something which we're respecting absolutely everybody, regardless of their circumstances. So that's something that's really important to me and how I was brought up. Uh, the, the other thing is something, there's a concept in Hinduism called dharma, which is D-H-A-R-M-A. And there isn't a really good English translation of that word, but the closest translation is something called duty. Uh, and it's called doing your duty. So it's doing what you believe to be right at all stages in your life for the role that you have. 
Uh, and that's quite an important concept in, in Hinduism that I try and, and do every day in this job. That's amazing. Thank you. Uh, Joseph, you ne you're next. What do you love about politics? Ah, oh, the best thing about politics is being, a, is being an MP. It's actually not being Chancellor, it's being an MP. And your fantastic MP, I think, is on this call. Laura is somewhere, so we should get a shout out from her in a second. Because as a local MP, you get to help people in an area. So I represent an area in, north, in the north of the country, a uh, long way from where you guys are in North Yorkshire. And I look after people and I help them. And just like a doctor, uh, when you're ill, you go and see your doctor. As an MP, you also can go and see your MP. And MPs have surgeries where people can come and see us and we help them with their problems. And, you know, sometimes your mums or dads or, or friends will have a problem. They can talk to their MP and their MP can help them and fix the problem and make a difference. And that is absolutely the best thing about being an MP. So, Laura, where's Laura? Laura, are you here? Where are you? We'll get a shout out. Hi, Jonathan. There we are. Hi, right. guys. So, Laura is your local MP. And so, Laura is fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, Jacob, over to you. Uh, what would you be if you weren't the Chancellor? When I was younger, I wanted to be a Jedi Knight. That was my first thing that I wanted to do. Turned out that wasn't possible. Um, then I had to find something else to do. So before I was in politics, I, I worked in business and I was investing in companies. So what I would do is I'd find really great companies that needed to grow and then invest in them with some money and then hopefully they would, they would go off and do a good job. So that's what I did before politics, which I absolutely loved. And then my other secret ambition... I used to live in California for a long time. And uh, first I lived where all the tech companies are. And then I moved to Los Angeles where they make movies. So one of my secret passions is to, to go and make movies again. So when I'm done with this, maybe I can go and go and do that. How about you? What do you want to do? Well, I want to be an engineer because I've just, I've taken apart many, many, many things in my lifetime. Oh my gosh, brilliant. You know what? If you've got time, yesterday I did this panel talking about jobs of the future and we had a bunch of engineers on the panel all from science backgrounds talking about their jobs and their careers. So some of them were trying to come new ways of doing farming where you do it indoors. Uh, someone else was uh, the lady who created the vaccine that we're all getting. So she's a scientist. Then there was, a, there was an amazing lady engineer who does all sorts of, invents all sorts of things. And then another engineer who builds offshore wind turbines. So it's on my YouTube channel. You might enjoy it. They were great. Ooh, thank you. Jacob, you'll definitely have to go and check that out. Honey, you're next. What was your favourite subject at school? So maths, English, literature, and economics, probably my three favourite subjects. How about yours, honey? My favourite subject is either art or English. English or art. Oh, good. I'm very bad at art. I'm, I can't draw anything, but that's great that you're very good. But you like English. That's fantastic. We have that in common. Do you think our future will be affected by COVID-19? Oh, wow. Well, I think it's something you'll always remember, Solomon, right? This will probably be one of the things that you remember when you're much older. You'll remember this, this period in our lives where all these extraordinary things happened and you'll look back on it and hopefully it won't happen again. So it will be this thing that you can look back on and then you can try and hopefully remember the good things, you know, the good things that we spent more time with our families, you know, that we understood the importance of that, um, that we had an appreciation of the things that were taken away from us for a while. So hopefully all those are all the good things that come out of it. Um, but, you know, for your futures, I feel really confident and I'm excited about everything that you guys are going to do. Uh, we're coming to our last couple of questions now, Chancellor, but um, I'd like to uh, very quickly go to uh, Freddie next. Hi, Freddie. What are your hobbies? Hobbies? Right. Yeah. Well, my, my number one hobby is watching my football team, which we talked about, thanks to Riley, uh, very, very unhappily. So football is one of my big passions. And then watching Star Wars movies again and again and again and again is probably my second hobby. And then, and then mainly though, I work a lot and then I spend a lot of time with my kids. Whatever free time I have, I tend to spend it with them doing whatever they want to do. So they, they like horse riding, they like swimming, not doing any swimming at the moment. Um, so those are the kind of things that we do at the weekend. 
And our last um, two questions, they're quite similar, Chancellor. So if I get both children to read out their questions and then maybe you can answer them. So Charlotte, if we come to you first and then George, if you'd like to end with your question. How did you become Chancellor? Thanks, Charlotte. And then George? What is it like to be the Chancellor? Right, OK, good ones to end on. So the way you become Chancellor is the Prime Minister has to ask you. So the Prime Minister's in charge and he chooses all the ministers in government. So there are lots of MPs, then out of the MPs, the Prime Minister chooses a group of them to be ministers to help do the government's business. And then about 15 or 20 of us are in what's called the cabinet. Have you seen pictures of that big green table sometimes? You see the prime minister and I and others, we all sit around this green table. That's the group of the most senior ministers. Uh, and I'm one of those. And the prime minister has to ask you to do that job. He chooses who he wants. So he asked me to do that about a year ago. So that's how that bit happens. And then in terms of what it's like, well, I mean, on one hand, it's really tough because I, I have to work a lot all the time. Uh, seven days a week, so I don't get to see my kids very much, uh, which I miss, and I don't get to have uh, time with them at the weekends. So that's the sad bit of it, and I talked to you about the thick skin, you need to have that, but that's fine. But the good bit about it, the most amazing bit, is you know when, you, when I do something which works, that means millions and millions and millions of people's lives, hopefully, can be a little bit better because of the decisions that I've made and the policies that we put in place. And I think it was Mia who asked about furlough, for example. You know, that was something we'd never done in this country before. Um, and we put that in place and millions and millions of people got help because of that scheme. And uh, that's something really special. So uh, that's the best bit about having, um, having this job. When you do something right, the whole country can benefit from it. And you know that you would have made people's lives a little bit better, hopefully. So uh, that's what keeps you going through the many other days where it's quite tough. But that's like all of us, right? We all have difficult days, but you've got you to get through them and keep going. And, uh, and you guys are fu full of positivity. So I'm sure that you do that all the time. And I see, your, is your head teacher here as well? Is that Mr. Tom, are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here, good morning. Hi, this class is fantastic. Yes, yeah, we're, we're very proud of our year six class. We're very proud of all of our children, but they have done a brilliant job this morning. And thank you so much for your time as well. I can only appreciate how, how busy you are at the moment. And this 30 minutes you've given us is fantastic. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you all. But what I think you should do is if you guys are, are really nice to Laura, where is she? She can give you away. You should get Laura to come and see you. And then if you would like, would you guys like to come? Have you been to the Houses of Parliament? Have you come to visit the Houses of Parliament or Downing Street? No, no. Ah, do you think you might like to do that? Yeah, It'd be, it's pretty cool, I can tell you. The history of the place where Laura and I work. I mean, the building is a thousand years old in some parts. So Henry VIII used to play tennis in there. So lots of cool stuff happened in Parliament, not just us talking about things. So if you talk to Laura uh, and, and Mr Ledger, then maybe when, when things get back to normal, Laura can bring you down to come and see me and come and see Parliament. I think you guys will have a superb time. Laura, does that sound all right? That sounds fantastic. Brilliant. So if you guys do that, then pop in. You can come and say hello to me in Downing Street. You can come and have a look around Parliament, see Laura in action. I think you guys have a great time. It'd be a good end of year trip. That sounds yeah. brilliant. We would love to take you up on that. Excellent. Great. All right. Well, lovely to meet you guys. We're very well done. Impressive fractions, impressive decimals and really brilliant questions. Thanks very much, Chancellor. Thank you, Chancellor. Bye, Bye Laura. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.